is on this list. On, yes. on the real, yes. F FD FD is the counter pick that you never knew you had. Yeah. <laughs> but it's right there. Uh, this tournament also uses Pokemon Stadium 1, which maybe we'll see that as a starter as it looks like our two combatants are ready to get into it. Yeah, we got ourselves Peach versus Lucina. Uh, let me see what it is going to be Pokemon Stadium 1. All right, so yeah, this guys, Trenton and Sullivan. Is that something? This is uh, another yeah minor change between uh, the stage list and the traditional one of PS2. Uh, I was talking to some Minnesotans, and they say like they actually like the color scheme a lot more for play. Uh, Stadium One, they find that the, the stage and the side blast zones are a little bit less outrageous here. Um, and just the back screen is way less distracting than the uh, Pokemon Stadium Two one, which like infinite loops a lot easier because it's a bright screen. Right. And as far as like the aesthetics are concerned layout wise, Trenton getting a very good edge guard. Uh, Sorry, go on. No, I was just gonna say how like the ledges a little bit more tighter in the platforms actually just a few units shorter. So one interesting note is that characters like Ganondorf and Little Mac actually struggle to get onto the platform on Pokemon Stadium 2. They don't run into that issue here for one. Oh. So I don't know if that's been a boon to some dedicated Little Mac or Ganondorf players or if other players have been able to take advantage of the fact that it's slightly lower to ultra some combos, but this can also help characters like Lucina if they're ever allowed to touch the stage. <laughs> oh my god, Trenton, like the moment he picks off Sullivan on the ground, he not only does like a solid amount of peach damage, but then he just keeps catching him trying to jump back onto the ledge from there. It's really one of the more valuable aspects of turn up because every time you press that down B, you're rolling the dice on what you're getting. Mm -hmm. And no matter what, you know the tool that you're getting is going to be useful for keeping characters off stage. And any form of disjoint is helpful against the likes of Lucina. Oh, you're yeah. trying to get away from the, um, the Dolphin Slash. Just being able to contest with it without actually putting yourself in harm's way, because that's a move that will just stage spike you for free otherwise. But nonetheless, Lucina managed to get the first stock off. Not too much damage built up, but it's still a pretty grim start to game one. And there we go, the turn up just doing all he needed, right? The slightest tap, but once Lucina uses that double jump, she's a goner. It's like, a, it's like an easy how-to guide on trying to edge guard Lucina. Just yeah. stay away. Keep, keep putting things in her way, but stay away. I'm, I'm actually curious uh, what Sullivan's going to like change, because all three of those stocks are just edge guards, like back to back to back. So. I, I don't know if he has a character with a more uncont uncontestable recovery with regards to projectiles, or if he's just going to have to really manage his double jump cleanly off stage. And it looks like he's going to opt for the ladder. But it's scary stuff with uh, how well uh, Transcend Switch has been handling everything once he finds that first hit. Given the switch to Smashville, definitely, it, it, it sort of supports both characters, but if Lucina starts to uh, swing a little bit more, mm -hmm. she's going to start stage control a lot easier than you'd be able to on Pokemon Stadium. I also like the platform in the middle too, right? Because as you're pressured in neutral, you can use Dolphin Slash as a get out of jail option, and at worst case scenario, your punish on that platform is going to be a lot less than landing back on base ground. Certainly, it's just less gloom that you have to travel, so it's less punishable. Now, on top of that, Lucina's able to shark that platform super well without even leaving the ground. Yeah, up tilt is so good at that. Um, and on top of everything else, because the problem has been sold and getting edge guarded by Trenton, the small side blast zones don't really matter because he hasn't been able to recover anyway. Whereas his forward smash is going to kill that much sooner onto Trenton. Indeed. It seems that like both players have taken now to a bit more of a Ooh. traditional control of the stage in that we've seen Trenton now, instead of just focus just the edge guards, he's trying to keep more of center stage. Mm -hmm. And then whenever Sullivan's in control, he's locking himself down right in the center of Smashville. Mm -hmm. That's so important on this stage, especially with these two characters that can control out from the center super well. Just like that, Sullivan once again getting edge guarded so hard. Man, Trenton like, only barely lost his first stock in the previous game, and if he finds himself another edge guard here, he might have been three stock Sullivan. Yeah, this is like, like rough business for Sullivan, especially as the combo starts. Decent damage on Catches with a third up air. Yeah, Catches Sullivan trying to come down with an attack and no double jump, and just like that, Trenton sniping it out. How decisive, and that was like that was near the end of Way C Pools, too. This guy's, uh... <laughs> We're gonna make it out killers. as hard as he can. That yeah. was a rough 2-0. <laughs> oh my god! Just gotta let him know. There's no time bonus. You just gotta get the.